composting has existed as long as the earth has existed. You could take the Sahara Desert and put a chemical fertilizer on it, but nothing would happen. You take the Sahara Desert and put compost on it and water it, it'll become a garden. Compost is life itself. For composting to occur efficiently, you need certain ingredients. You need carbon, you need nitrogen. Carbon could be leaves, paper, cardboard, wood. Nitrogen is grass or food, and, and protein is fine in there. You also need a certain amount of moisture. So at this facility, for example, um, food waste that comes in, a tomato is 95% moisture, a banana is 90% moisture. We want to be around 60%. Okay, we're in the receiving building, which what we also call the tipping building, because the trucks tip their loads in here. So here you can see a huge pile of, of food waste. The loader operator in here, uh, I like to think of him as a chef, because he's mixing the right ingredients to make the right mixture for composting. So we get the right carbon and nitrogen. By blending those materials, we get the right moisture. And then also the third element is air or oxygen. And we do that by blowing air through air compressors or air blowers up through the material. We're optimizing natural conditions. We're using modern fermentation technique to feed the microbes. So even though we have 20 people working here, we have billions of microbes, and they do most of the work. The system is a very, very technologically advanced approach to a very simple idea, and that's creating the proper environment for our microbes to thrive. Take those materials, we put a cover over top of them that consists of gore fabric, and we put two probes in. One is a temperature probe and one is an oxygen probe. This is how you prove to your regulators that you're meeting your regulatory obligations that are outlined in your permit. The types of feedstocks that we're bringing in, the food waste, that food waste contains certain pathogens like salmonella, E. coli, a little bit of fecal coliform. Uh, those things are dangerous, you know, they can make people sick. The only way to destroy those pathogens is with thermal treatment. That's using heat over a very specific duration of time. So as long as we're promoting an efficient environment for our microbes to work, we will get the temperatures needed to cook the material and pasteurize it out into a safe and stable product. So the temperatures are a byproduct of us creating ideal conditions for microbes to work. It, it creates an incredibly efficient system. What we're able to do is take our feedstocks from our tipping floor to finish compost ready to be screened in eight weeks. That is a tremendous feat. One of the reasons that we built a facility here in Delaware is that our location is convenient for Delaware businesses, southeastern Pennsylvania businesses, New Jersey businesses, that otherwise would take their material to a landfill. Here at the Delaware Solid Waste Authority's landfill, which is you know, just right over the Christina River here, the current tip fee is $83 a ton. In Philadelphia, it's in the mid-80s. In New York City, it's 95. We are much more competitive to that. So it's not only, we're not only giving an environmental advantage to the generators, the users of this facility, but also giving them a cost um, competitive price so that they can do the right thing and also save money. This is the, uh, the, the fine screen compost. So this was the food and yard waste that we saw in the receiving building. This is what it'll look like in another eight weeks. Fine screen, beautiful product, can be used for 
anything that grows. Smells great, looks good. This is truly recycling.